Good evening YouTubers. So this is uh, part two um, of the videos I'm doing around developing a gel electrolyte. This is actually a reshot part two um, as I accidentally deleted uh, the one I uploaded the other day, but never mind. Um, I'll just recap on some of the stuff I talked about then um, with some updates. So yeah, um, this is just a follow on really from the first video where uh, we're taking um, a gel made from glucomannum and calcium chloride and uh, mixing it together and see how that performs um, in a battery setup. Uh, so I've got some test cells here with some various mixtures um, and this is the current one that I've been testing. Now the uh, probably the, the best performing one uh, I've had so far was, um, I can't remember which one it was, um, but it was one that had about 20 milligrams of glucomannum and about six grams of calcium chloride. Uh, I've got the curve on the screen here. So just to recap, I've got my um, load tester set up now. That's ready to go, plugged into the laptop. So this is the one you can get for around 15 pounds here in the UK uh, from places like eBay and AliExpress. Well worth doing because um, you can get some really good data out of this and obviously it's always good to kind of a, a log all your tests and because um, well to be honest half the time you forget to write things down and uh, then you can never remember what happened but uh, <clears throat> this is probably the best I've had so far um, so if you look on the curve um, you can see that it's kind of follows a bit of a battery curve so you have this um, Kind of pretty flat line going across which is probably around 0.6 of a volt and then it kind of tails off and then completely dies but this is um, using a 10 milliamp load um, and it ran for about 20 minutes now there's some weird stuff going on here that i don't quite fully understand and it seems to get worse um, the more kind of uh, calcium chloride you're adding to the cell and it's this thing here if you look at the beginning, the, the cell will start off at around 1.3, but then as soon as you um, start the test and put the load on it, it suddenly drops down to virtually zero volts. And the stronger the um, salt in the mixture, um, it causes this delay. Um, now, the cell that I tested here um, has got about 10 grams in it and it was taking around 20 seconds for it to recover and go back up to about half a volt which is really really strange um, I mean here for example um, it recovered quicker but there's obviously about half the amount of salt in the cell um, and also the less you put in um, also it seems to recover quicker as well so there's definitely something weird going on here which I don't quite understand yet but yeah, as you can see on here, power-wise, um, it's coming up as 4 milliamp hours, so not exactly breaking any new records with this. But, uh, you know, this is really just about trying to get the mixes right and then start putting in some additives, um, active materials, that sort of thing, to see uh, if we can boost that number. But yeah, interesting nonetheless. Uh, the other thing that's got me slightly concerned is um, these cells that I talked about a few days ago. Um, and post on the video which I accidentally deleted. Um, these have been sitting around for a while now and if you kind of start to look at the what's going on in there you can see there's all kinds of bits and pieces floating around in there. I don't know if you can really see that but what is it was always worrying um, you can see that there's um, some kind of corrosion going on there uh, from the copper so that's kind of dissolving in the solution. Similarly with the aluminium it's not in particularly good shape either. So yeah, there's definitely something um, affecting the mix. And it looks like that obviously the stronger the salt, uh, the more it's kind of rotting those electrodes. So um, it's almost like if it's completely saturated, um, that's probably not a good thing. But yeah, so I mean, that's it for now really. Um, just uh, while I'm here, I just wanted to uh, mention the um, source of the glucomannum um, and this is what you can get here in the UK in Poundland um, by a, a company called Forza they, they sell it on the shelf this costs one pound and you get 15 capsules 
If you look at the back of the ingredients, you can see glucomannum, a thousand uh, micrograms, so about one gram per capsule. And as I said, if you mix that with uh, 50 mils of um, distilled water, you get quite a nice uh, gel like solution that you can then start playing around with. But yeah, that's it really. So, um, yeah, we'll see you soon. Take it easy.